I'm so afraid of Pokemon. Fuck. Hey guys, welcome to the episode. Pokemon Showdown, um, Team Teams. Alright, so this is the second episode. Um, today we're going to be doing to Mouse Team Teams. Now, obviously, I'm going to be co uh, commentating these videos. So I'm not going to be bailing in on the spot. Uh, the reason why I decided to record this right now is because. I can't connect to Project Pokemon for some reason to do some battles, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna show showcase some of the battles that I did in the past two days or three days I don't know. Um, so I will just go through the sets once the, uh, I finish all the battles that I want to show. Um, I believe that out of all these videos that I show, all the battles that I show, I only won like one of them. I think, um, cause this team is really really difficult to use, um, so for the first battle, we're gonna be battling this guy, let's just show the battle. Alright, so we're gonna lead things off with the Pikachu, um, the first time he gets a crit bug bus and I was a little bit pissed, but, um, considering he has light bulb, I do not think that it actually mattered. Um, yeah, so here I just went for the Fly on Z, Pillin, cause I actually expected him to swap out, but he didn't, so, um, uh, doesn't really matter, we got the, uh, our crit chance a little bit boosted, so, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, the Braviary surprisingly tanked the Brave Bird and goes for Frustration. It's nice to see, uh, Frustration being used. And, uh, I just, like, I just decided to go to, to eradicate the finish off with the quick attack. So, um, here came with the card. I thought, well, I can set up against this, I can at least tank one Moon Blast. And then he uses Cotton Guard, um, so I just, I decided to swap into and uh, he uses Leech Seed, which misses, which um, is okay, I guess. Um, we managed to put up Substitute, but it didn't really work out. Uh, this is my sweeping uh, Dedane from uh, from the, um, the Dedane sweep. Uh, max speed, max special attack, timid nature, um, Substitute recycle, hit the power ice, and discharge just spread a little bit of um, a little bit of support. And uh, paralysis. Also, I was holding the potato berry on that. So this is my marrow um, with the. Uh, he has parry song with um, with the uh, whirlpool to trap the opponent. It um, has uh, rest is his only recovery and sleep talk to uh, use some of the rest. Um, sleep, talk, sleep talk rest combo is pretty good. So um, here I swap into the. Since you know, which is probably my most reliable set on this team, um, I just went for Rock Blast to get some damage and I knew that it won't kill because Golbat, um, I feel like Golbat actually has some very nice book. Um, so it gets really close to taking it out, but uh, I guess he went for Toxic because he predicted me something out. I mean, you're not, you're not gonna have speed, but I guess he could have gone for the Ruse. Uh, yeah, Ruse. Um, here I actually expected the Golbat to stop because it's on Anchor. Um, yeah, he went for curse, and I decided to go for a double curse, and he actually roosted up, so he, that was really, really bad. Um, I decided to spam curse, I knew that he would go for a double roost, because why not, you have nothing to lose, but, um, so, on this, when they get set, I mean it myself, it is, um, max HP, max special defense, um, curse, quick attack for some priority, um, resto chesto, and, his last move is in Assurance, which is, um, I want to use Assurance because it's quite an interesting move, so, uh, yeah, I really, I just tried to predict when he was going to use Brave Bird, I predicted that he was going to use it this turn, I think, and I went for the Assurance, and, uh, no, sorry, I went for the for 6 curse. Alright, so, with this turn, he was definitely going to go for Brave Bird, I mean, why, would, why wouldn't you? Um, so he did go for the Brave Bird, and the Assurance actually takes it out, so that was pretty good. Um, they came in Delphox, I thought, well, Delphox is very frail defense, so I think that could be taken take it out, and it does! So here he goes to do a Sneasel, um, he goes for the Ice Shard and takes my to get out. I was actually gonna go for a quick attack, which we're probably taking out. So here, I swapped it into uh, my row, and I went for Whirlpool, and uh, it misses. I think that if I didn't miss that first Whirlpool, I would have actually won, because, um, the... If I trapped the Sneasel in, and I managed to get the Parasong off, I could have swapped out. I swap back into uh, Meryl later on when the Whimsical Card comes in and Perish Song, and I will still have the Dead Dene left, which I can substitute solid all day. 
and we'll take it out with the uh, Paris song eventually. But uh, as I said, I lost this battle, I think. I'm pretty sure I lost this battle, so... Um, here we were just getting Parahex all around, uh, uh, all, all around and... Uh, yeah, so... On the last turn, well, I was, I was, uh, we were both on our last count for Paris song, I knew that he would swap out. He didn't actually swap out, he swapped it, he went for a Memento. So, um, that was interesting. Here is the one for the knockoff and took me out because I have very low HP and very low defense. Uh, so I'm gonna swap into my final Pokemon Marrow. Heiji knocks off my Eve Light. Uh, and I got Sleep Shot Rest. So that wasn't really that uh, good. He goes for knockoff, I guess 32 HP um, down. I managed to change that. I think I was min damage. I'm not sure. But I'm for the rest again because I knew I'll wake up this turn. Um, I went for the Sleep Talk and I got Parish Long, so I was like, okay, at least we can make it to Kai. Um, I know that a tree hit will not be enough to take out. This is a crit. So Katia was going for the knockoff and I saw it. Okay, 33 HP is the best I can do. Um, I think it's basically a tie at this point. And uh, he gets, he gets max damage. Ah, uh, I'm so salty on that. I'm so salty on the battle. If, if he didn't not, um, get so many, um, if he didn't get the max damage roll on the final turn, I would have definitely been able to rest up. And, uh, even a crit would not have taken me out, so, um, Ah, I'm so salty. I, I initially thought it was a crit when I first saw um, that he took my, my uh, marrow out um, because, you know, I only saw 30% the, the, uh, HP being deducted from my, from my marrow, so I didn't exactly expect it to take me out. Um, but that's that, I guess. Um, so I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, head on to the next battle. So hope you guys enjoyed this as well, let's move on to the second one. Alright guys, so we're moving on to our next battle. Um, this guy is... We're battling against Konjiki2525 and some Chinese character at the back. So, um, starting off, I used... I start, decided to lead off my dead ending and he let things off with the Toxic Coat. So I expected a fake out because, I mean, what do you have to lose, but... Then he uses Icy Man and I was like, ah, this guy's a, uh, This guy's an amateur, isn't he? So um, I actually went for discharge behind the substitute and I actually took out the um, the um, he took him out of half health. So here I decided to um, go for the substitute and um, I actually he lost my potato berry uh, and he went for knockoff. And since I was ineffective, it wasn't enough to break my substitute, which was pretty funny. So I made him go back out and I did around half HP. He's gonna go for the toxic and actually got got past my. Substitute because he got um, is hit the power. Sorry, it's um, uh, it has the infiltrator ability. The second discharge was surprisingly enough to go for, uh, to take it out. So I guess I got max damage. Um, anyways, in come the in came the wheezing and it was uh, it was just enough to beat. Uh, he went for protect and took me out with the toxic damage. So I guess I could have gone for the um the um recycle just to get a little bit of. I don't think I've even stalled out another turn actually because I don't think it will activate before the toxic damage happens. Okay, let me go through this uh, Pikachu set real quick. Um, this is my favorite set. I made it myself. Um, it has a nozzle to paralyze the opponent because I didn't like missing the Thunder Wave. Um, it, has, it has Wish for recovery. It has a track just to, uh, just to spread a little bit of... Um, Hex around and um, it's surprising he gets seismic toss, so uh, that was his damaging move. And uh, for hell item, I didn't want to give it every light because I'm running max HP, max speed on this because it doesn't need any attack in these. And uh, I really need that speed. So on this, I gave it bro bright powder just to dodge a few moves. Actually, I think in one of the battles, it, I actually like dodge a big barrels, um, plus four aqua jet, and I managed to get the nozzle off to. Gave me a little bit of survivability, then I realized that the Sincino could tank an Aqua Jet from the Mira Hole, which I was kinda salty about, but uh, Pikachu was definitely MVP in most of the battles. Um, it's really really good. So the um the um the Arbok went for the gun shot and I think missed uh because I had the bright powder, so um I actually ate a salad berry which increases speed. Um I was I didn't really realize and I just continued going for Seismic Toss and I thought I was bad. Uh, he's gonna break past the uh, the attract and he's gonna go for the gunshot and land against the Bright Powder. 
um, Pikachu and this takes my HP to us um, as it's going to be my ticks up. So here came in the um, the uh, Victory Bell and actually went for Z Sleep Powder which boot, um, increased its speed. And I actually had a Chester Berry because I explained earlier it's Resto Chester with max HP max speed. Um, I decided to take advantage of uh, Sleep Cross and swap into my Emolga. And he actually went for the Sword Stance on the swap, so I guess he predicted that or just tried to set up. He actually went for Knock Off, which um, didn't actually do too much damage to me because I did not have. Um, God, I better not. Um, I better not skip that far ahead yet. He actually um, didn't do too much to me because I actually did not have an item. <laughs> I mean, I did have an item, but it was not an item to be knocked off of. Um, so I went for the Super Star Nix Sky Strike to take it out with the Flying Nium Z. Um, here, I was low on health, so I thought, well, he's most probably gonna go for um, Shadow Sneak. I'm gonna stop Mr. Sino and go for the Encore to trap him into that, and he can't actually, uh, he can't actually do anything to me unless, um, until I, until I actually uh, take it out. So I decided to spam Tail Slap, and it did around half HP. He's gonna go for the Shadow Sneak, and I'm gonna miss the Tail Slap. And uh, that was uh, a little bit salty. So here came in the Weezing, because I actually wanted to trap uh, the the mark into the shell stick again, but he actually was smart enough to swap out. So I actually went for the tail slap and he actually misses the um, the Weezing, but that's good. He went for the uh, he got fully paralyzed and was unable to he was unable to get the willows willowist off onto my Sinsino, which would have been a real problem. So here I just decided to go uh, start spamming acrobatics. He went for protect and took me out with the infestation. So that was a good. Here I decided to go for the whirlpool just to. Uh, I want to use my perish song strategy. Uh, he actually misses with will with which always happens to be. Um, he actually goes for protect. I was like, oh shit! I hope perish song can get through this, and actually does. Uh, I didn't know whether it would get through or not. I had a feeling that it wouldn't, um, but it did. So that's good enough, I guess. He's gonna go for clear smog, I was like, okay, if you actually go for infestation, you can drop me in and take me down with you, but I guess that's fine. Uh, I went for the Whirlpool again, he actually went for clear smog again, so you can tell this guy was an amateur. Um, here, I decided to swap to the C now, because I was really feel, uh, obviously I needed to swap out, because I didn't, <laughs> unless I did, um, I was going to get taken out by the, by the, uh, by the Paris song as well. So he actually predicted me going for the uh, into, a, into a Cicino and go for the will -O on the swap and actually burn my Cicino. I was like, oh shit, I only have uh, two sleeping mods and um, a very weak Cicino now. But he actually go, goes for the memento on the mark and takes himself out on the last Pokemon. So um, that was really funny. But um, yeah, this is the only battle that I won. Uh, I guess I'll showcase a few more battles before we end the video. Um, Maybe one, I'll just try to get another video in before I end the video. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the second battle. Let's move on to it. Alright, guys, um, we're back with the third and final battle. This is the this is the game that I actually felt was the was most worthy for me to post. So, um, I would have won this if I didn't get so unlucky. You're seeing the battle, but it was a good battle overall. I just wanted to show you guys this battle. So let's just show, show you real quick. So I started things off with the Pikachu. Uh, I expected the Archie up starting off because you know it's a um, it's a um, it's a Stealth Rock lead. So he actually goes. Uh, actually went for the attract and uh, paralyzed right off the back, and he actually gets past the both of them and goes for hit smash. But since I have bright powder and hit smash is pretty bad accuracy, actually I uh, actually I actually um, uh, took it out to defeat this range. But his hit smash still took me out. Um, if he was up quick, I would have not been surprised. But then his hit smash, Archops is really really powerful. So here I went to the uh, went for the U turn because I predicted a swap. I um, mean, why would you stay into a uh, U turn? I decided going to uh, going to predict um, it because I predicted because uh, it was very specially defensive and well, there was no way that I was gonna swap in my marrow. So here I decided to uh, bait out the Thunderbolt to get the. The uh, motor drive boost. Uh, I decided to go for the acrobatics because I mean, why would I waste the uh, why would I waste the motor drive boost using U-turn? So I was like, when the first test came in, I was like, well, first test is pretty frail. Let's go for the 
the acrobatics and it only does half health so I guess it's 55 base power but that is really really weak um, here I just went to my special defensive marrow uh, went for the whirlpool and tried to trap it in I wasn't going to go for the uh, I actually, okay actually I went for the whirlpool here and I was like oh shit he's gonna go for the thing one but he actually lives on one health so that was really lucky um, that came in Dojo and it took me out of the break break. Uh, I do not have any defense in so I was not shocked at all. Um, against the Dojo, I was like, well, I can go for Substitute here. If he swaps, that won't be too bad. So I actually went for the Discharge against the Samurai and she takes him out. So um, here he actually goes for Akudra. He got to crit against my Dead So um, that was the that was the worst part of the game because that actually costed me the game. Um, if that didn't crit, I would, I think I would have won, because, uh, I could have discharged the, I would have been able to discharge the, get the discharge onto the, um, uh, onto the Dodrio, or, and, uh, yeah, it would have, I could have been able to get the discharge onto the Dodrio after that, and it would not have been able to take my Tenzin out, because I wouldn't have swapped it in yet. And uh, how doom there was the way that how doom was gonna speed us. It was not even, it was not even um, a mega honking. But ah, uh, whatever, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this um, three battles. Um, I really enjoyed all three of them. I actually have a couple more in store in the back, but um, I obviously I do not want to drag the video on too long. Also, I apologize if if my uh, commentary is pretty bad. It's pretty hard to commentate against recorded previous new recorded videos that do not slow down for your commentary. But um, I guess we'll move on to the team builder and check out my EVs and IVs on these Pokemon. So we'll be right back once we hit over there. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry guys. Alright guys, we're back with um, the team builder. Alright, so um I'm gonna be going through these sets really really quickly. On Emola we're running a Plinium Z that can work well with Tailwind and Acrobatics. Um, it can work with either. Usually I use um, Z Acrobatics with Super Punch Sky Strike just to just to get um, because I usually I really need that damage. Um, and, uh, I feel like it's I feel like it really isn't that good. Um, it has got, got a couple of KOs before, but really it doesn't really work that well um this is my physical emoga with motor drive because uh, i didn't feel like static was that and the ability and ability also needed some um boost to sponge those electric type moves uh, i didn't want to run a uh, lightning rod on pikachu either because static is a pretty good ability um so on this i'm running a uh fast physical sweeper um, as it says on Smogon right here, I didn't take a Smogon set, I made it myself, um, I'm not sure if it's original, but I didn't even check if it got, it got swords then, so I was like, well, I do not really want to, I really don't want to boost my stats with any attack, I think it should get home class, but actually I'm not sure, does it, let me check real quick, home class, does it, do you get home class, you don't, alright, uh, that's fine, let's, so I ran uh, Tailwind on this because uh, additional speed is always nice. It also helps against that uh, Selgor is a better, as you saw earlier. Um, so I got Tailwind with to his speed uh, and get a crit chance, higher crit chance, which I usually get a crit, which is nice. Um, I expect to not get a crit off since I'm so unlucky, uh, but I, I get a lot of crits because I mean it's focus on energy, so <laughs> I guess that's good. Um, I, I, I thought that the Z move would work best on Emoga because um, it's really quite, um, it's really quite, it gets, it's gonna be carrying a lot of uh, uh, two flying type moves so I thought flying Z, um, it's kind of a situational, not situational, it's kind of diverse, um, you can either um, support the team and support yourself with the Z Tailwind or you can just nuke the opposing Pokemon with Z Acrobatics. Um, I say nuke, but it really doesn't nuke. As you can see by that Frill Frost Blast, it really didn't hit too hard. Uh, the only thing that is good against is our super effective. Uh, 
a Pokemon that takes super effective damage from is the Acrobatics. Um, because it's a super effective move. Max, max attack, max speed, jolly nature, with a 4 in HP, because why not? Alright, so next up is my Reticate set that I made on the spot. Um, this is max HP, max special defense. Um, and uh, I just invested the remaining into attack. I gave it at the burn nature because I felt that I needed a little bit more attack. I mean, 81 is not really that good. Um, so, on this set, I'm running Curse uh, as my setup move, Resto Chesto as my form of recovery, Assurance um, to really use that curse and um, like really use that curse to its uh, fullest potential and quick attack for some step and priority move. Um, Assurance was my main attacking move, but quick attack really she did hit harder in most. Hit harder in most situations. Uh, the it's um it, what was I gonna say? It's I guess you could say I have current and brief, but it's not really that bulky. So I really wanted to get that. I really wanted to get that first turn of speed with the curse, and after that I really don't care if I have speed or not because I'm gonna be tanking those moves a lot better. Um, even at max HP, max pressure defense. Uh, right ticket was far from pokey, you do not want to run this set. Um, yeah, so my next Pokemon is um, the Bright Powder Pikachu. This is my Troll Pikachu that I, j I This is probably my favorite set in uh, in this team. It's uh, it's really, really interesting. I ran Nazo on it and I gave it a random gender. Because uh, I didn't really care about what gender it was, I was like, uh, why not? A track is. I mean, on sure now you don't really have to breed for females. So um, there could be a lot of female Pokemon in uh, Showdown as well. So I decided to run Nazo, and uh, without the uh, I, I mean I decided not to give it a specified gender, uh, just to not limit it to that. So I'm running a Nazo just to spread paralysis, a track just to throw the opponent, which is my only form of recovery, and it actually gets Seismitox, as I said. Uh, it's really quite interesting, cause uh, I. <laughs> Did not expect it to get uh, seismic toss. Seismic toss. I guess. I guess that as the um, as the uh, mascot of the uh, Pokemon um, of Pokemon, you do get a lot of uh, diverse moves. Although your stats are nothing to be glad about. Which begs the question of how it actually managed to KO a Latios with the light screen up um, using its 50 base special attack and 55 base. Attack. I guess it did take out um, Tobias' Latios with the Volt Tackle, which was... His, sorry, no. It took it out with a uh, combo of Volt Tackle and Iron Tail, I believe. So, um... Iron Tail was a step. Uh, um, and, well, and, um... Volt Tackle was... Uh, resisted by the Latios. And, um... Uh, it doesn't have the worst defense in the world. Latios does not have the worst defense in the world. Um, and Pikachu, 55 base attack, that's not really gonna do too much. I do not know how he did that much. If I had level 100, it should not have done that much. Sorry, even if it's past like level 100, it shouldn't have done that much. I mean, it's a Latios. Um, yeah, it's... Okay, I'm getting off topic here, but... Um, okay, so Pikachu is max HP, max speed. Um, if I had max HP, he really had very little HP. It was... 35 base HP, but I didn't know what to invest the rest on, um, so I invested it into defense because I mean, defense is a little bit lower than special defense. Um, the Pikachu wasn't really taking too bad moves, so I didn't want to run Everlight on it. I just ran Bright Powder uh, to evade a couple of moves. Um, it actually evaded a couple of uh, moves in, uh, a couple, uh, in other battles, but those battles were not that good, so I did not decide to save them. And I lost most of them as well. Um, but obviously that's not the main problem because I'm, uh, I'm uploading a couple of battles that I lost at um, in this video as well. So um, yeah, this is definitely my favorite set in this game, uh, in this uh, in this team. So here is my sweeping the Denny from um, two days ago that I uploaded. It has discharge, which I swapped out the boat for discharge for the hydrogen of paralysis. Uh, I usually get paralysis, which is very nice. Um, it, usually, it usually helps, uh, although I still lose. But uh, hidden power eyes, because I felt that it would be better than dazzling flame or whatever fairy type move it gets. I do not even know. So 
substitute just to lower my own HP and uh, to build up a shield. Uh, yeah, sort of a shield to, uh, but mainly to lower my HP to activate that berry and recycle to get back that berry and a little bit more HP. Um, it's quite effective, but here though it's it's not it doesn't have the greatest special attack in the world. Like 81 base special attack isn't that great. Um, it's max speed, max special attack within it because. As I said, 81 base special attack isn't that great. So this is my Tintino set. Uh, not really my Tintino set because this has been used a lot of times um, by a lot of people. I started around Life Rock with us over uh, King's Rock because I didn't want to be a scum. Um, I have used King's Rock a couple of times but it wasn't really that fun because you're basically winning. Like, you know that you'll win. Uh, so there's no point in doing that. I mean, Tintino has the great one of the Really, really good speed on it. Uh, one of five base speed. You know, you do not expect that um, on a Pokemon such as these. Like, you do not expect it to run too fast. So, um, clearly, has three of the eating moves uh, with the scaling ability. It's gonna hit five times all the time. And Anchor just a little bit of support. Uh, it Anchor usually helps quite a bit. Uh, this is a uh, max speed, max attack with Jolly Nature, falling to HP and. Uh, yeah, I did think of running this as a special set, but I didn't think that would be good at all, so uh, I was thinking like Calm Mind, Hyper Voice, Dazzling Gleam, and uh, I don't think it gets Hyper Voice actually, maybe around, I don't know. But uh, this set was definitely the most reliable, but also the most boring set on my team. So on, uh, my final Pokemon is the Mero. Uh, Mero is max HP, max special defense. Uh, it has 50 base defense and special defense, so it wasn't really that good. So I did, did decide to give it uh, split defenses because it's, uh, it's a set, it's not that good. So I decided to make it max special defense because um, uh, in retrospect, I should have made it max HP, uh, max defense because of the Reticate uh, already being big special defense. But uh, in most cases, special defense uh, stat helps more. Um, Against the Sneasel, it didn't really help him much, too much. Uh, Calm Nature to boost my special defense. This is my um, Whirlpool Trapping Set. Parish Song, Whirlpool, Rest, and Sleep Top. Uh, I think I missed like 60% of my Whirlpool. Um, I am not exaggerating, I think I missed at least that much. Um, which is really, really, um, really, really annoying because. Usually the Whirlpool misses are what causes me the game, which is really triggering, but um, yeah, the overall, this is a pretty good team, I'm not gonna lie, it's MPU, you can use it, if you go into any, anything goes and battle um, some, sorry, not PU, and you, but if you go into anything goes and do some, like, um, do some um, um, uber battles, you're gonna get fucked in the ass, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Showdown Team Teams. How long has this video been? Oh wait, 30 minutes, oh god. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Do comment down below if you want to battle me or leave some feedback on how to put the code in my videos. Also leave those two theme suggestions down in the comment section below as well. If you're wondering my, why my voice sounds so weird, I feel I my nose is completely um, clocked up by, um, <laughs> blocked out by a, I think a lot of, um, a lot of mucus. Um, probably dried up mucus, I think, which sounds really disgusting. Uh, I think uh, my body feels really heaty. Probably, I, I probably ate too much spicy food today, but... Uh, <laughs> and uh, my stomach feels really, really weird. Uh, it's probably just all the Thai... Uh, it's probably just all the uh, Thai, Thai cuisine I ate today, but... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do comment down below if you want to... Oh, wait, I already did the outro. Bye! <laughs>